boastful speeches are the first sign of weakness, conducted by reason, average minds by experience, the stupid by necessity, and the brute by instinct. The face is a picture of the mind, with the eyes as its interpreter. A mind without instruction can no more bear fruit than can a field, however fertile, without cultivation. A room without books is like a body without a soul. Knowledge, which is divorced from justice, may be called cunning rather than wisdom. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. The love you give in life keeps people alive beyond their time. Anyone who was given love will always live on in another's heart. Not being greedy is already wealth. Not being wasteful is income. History is the witness that testifies to the passing of time. It illumines reality, vitalizes memory, provides guidance in daily life, and brings us tidings of antiquities. For books are more than books. They are the life, the very heart and core of ages past. The reason why men worked and died. The essence and quintessence of their lives. The greatest virtue of a speaker is not only to say what is necessary, but also not to say what is not necessary. Read at every weight, read at all hours, read within leisure, read in times of labor, read as one goes in, read as one goes out. The task of the educated mind is simply put, read to lead. If fate does not give you something, it means that it protects you from something. There are no snares more dangerous than those which lurk under the guise of duty or the name of a relationship. Natural ability without education has more often raised a man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. The more honest men are, the less he suspects others of dishonesty. A low soul always presupposes the lowest motives for noble deeds. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to always remain a child. For what is the worth of human life unless it is woven into the life of our ancestors by the records of history.